Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the CTT Signal On Delay 1 Up. And this is the CTT Timer and Counter Mixed Mode function that we can do. Uh, and our timer will be a single on delay. And if we look at our timing chart here on our manual, we have our signal, or our power to the, to the unit. Then we have our signal. And when we have our signal, the timing starts timing up until we hit the set value. And then the set value, uh, depending on the output type, will actually be maintained or a time value, and it will stay there until I hit a reset signal, which then resets it again. Okay. And then on my counter input up function, okay, every time it gets a signal at CP, CP1, it increments the present value by one. So if I look at my output mode for my count, my counter, I'm using output mode N, which is right here. So as I get my pulse train signal, it increments my uh, counter present value up to my set value, and then in mode N will turn on the output and maintain it until I have the reset signal. So the reset signal will reset both the timer and counter. And by using the timer and counter itself um, in one unit, you can actually um, do multiple functions with this unit. It's very versatile. Okay, so let's uh, look at look at more pages of the manual here. There's only about four pages to program this mixed unit. So here's our wiring diagrams from the manual. So this is the timer counter wiring diagrams themselves. And then we get into the parameter settings. So let's take a look at it. And what we'll do is, first of all, hit and hold our mode button for three seconds. That will bring into our programming. Then we have our function and we have it set for our mixed mode. Our next uh, hit mode again and we have our input mode of our counter which is up. Our next one is our signal on delay for our uh, for our timer function. Hit mode again and this is our timer units which is set for point 0.1 of a second or a tenth of a second. Mode again. This shows us our input type which is uh, our counter input which is up. Then our output mode which is set for N. And our speed because we're, we're going off the relay of a PLC we're setting it for 200 Hertz. So 200 times a second which will make sure that we don't uh, see any of the bouncing of the relay itself. Then we have our, our first output, uh, T1, which is going to be set for zero. And what that means is it's going to be maintained uh, on the unit. Then we have our decimal point to represent um, our decimal on our, our display unit for our counter. Then we have our prescale, and the prescale will actually allow you to specify engineering units that are going to be used on the counter itself. So a pulse represent a certain things like distance. Hit mode again and this is your power option. So your power option is set for save so it will save the parameters in your counter when you turn power off and when you turn back on your your present value is still going to be there. Then our reset we set for 20 milliseconds so you need a pulse greater than 20 milliseconds in order for it to reset this uh, unit. And then we have our input type, which is PNP, which will um, indicate which way the, um, the unit is wired as, as according to our wiring diagrams we just looked at. So hitting mode again, getting us back to the top again. So go back into run mode, we hit and hold the mode key, and we're back into run. And the first thing you'll see is the, our set value for our timer, which is set for 10 seconds. Then hit mode again, you'll see the counter set for a count of 10. And once again hit mode again, and you see that we actually have um, a display of both the counter and the timer in one unit. So let's leave it there, and let's try our units. Let's first of all try a count. We'll give it a few pulses here. And you can see the counting, counting up on the bottom there in the green. 
Let's well, pause it or stop it. And it, as soon as it gets to 10, it turns on our output number 2. Then let's turn on our timer and signal. And then we can also pause our timer. We unpause the timer. And as soon as it goes up to the set value of 10, it will activate output number 1. So, and then uh, we have our reset signal. We turn it on, and both the timer and the counter both reset. So let's start that again. A few pulses. We'll stop that. We'll try powering off the unit. Now we power back on the unit. Okay. When we go back to our mixed mode setting on our display, you can see that my uh, counter value of 4, or present value of 4, is still maintained. Right. So, the next value of the CTT, counter timer tachometer unit, is uh, uh, works well. So all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. Give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, a notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.